Hello everybody, my name is Cyrix and I will be your narrator today. I will be reading level 10, The Field of Wheat. Survival difficulty, class 1. Safe, secure, minimal entity count. Level 10 is the 11th level of the back groups. This level seems to be an infinite wheat field. Description. Level 10 is a wheat field that seems to be infinite in size. A large unpaved dirt heading north and south is also present. The wheat field is safe for use and consumption. Pockets of almond water can be found all around the wheat fields, which has a sweet taste. The time of day in level 10 is always around noon. The sky is very cloudy and rain may occur rarely. When walking down the path, you will not only find wheat fields, but strange objects and buildings in the distance. The first buildings you may encounter are barns and stables. These buildings are usually empty, but are fully explorable. The contents of the barns vary, but hay, animal fur, and animal noises are present throughout the barns and stables. The objects you can find include tractors, farming utilities, etc. Small houses can be found around level 10. These houses be, seem to be built around the early 1980s and are quite empty as resources are scarce. Do not enter the houses, as an event will occur when sobbing can be heard emanating from the house, and those present inside will disappear. These houses, however, do possess a chance to bring you to some levels like level 7 and level 9, although this is unconfirmed. In one fairly large area of level 10, a town can be found. This town seems to have been built in the 1980s, around the same time period as the houses. The buildings are full of various items, unlike more modern houses nearby. This town includes shops, apartments, houses, etc. The town is home to a community living inside of it that decided to make the town their home. See communities and outposts. It is completely safe to explore and live in. Entities do have a chance to spawn in some buildings, but this is very rare. These entities range from smilers, skin stealers, death rats, hounds, and hostile facelings. There have been reports of wranglers beneath the surface of level 10. There are also reports of camo crawlers. There are in fact two special entities that may appear in level 10. They are as follows. The first special entity can be found in towers around the level. They are made of stone and seem to be built around the medieval era. These towers are safe to reverse around and to explore while not occupied. These castle towers are lit up with torches, with a black charcoal-like substance that paints the roof of the towers on the inside. The towers include some furniture usually associated with the early 1600s. During an event that may occur, loud trumpet sounds will play throughout level 10 for a few minutes. If this occurs, entities known as the archers will appear in groups and scout the level. These entities claim these towers are their territory. The archers don't seem to interrupt the town and usually ignore it. It is advised to keep away from the archers as you might get shot with an arrow. Once you hear the trumpets for a second time, that indicates the archers are gone. The second special entity is known as the Gluff. These entities are large obese creatures that walk among the fields. Gluffs are there to grow the crops as their body emits drops of sweet almond water, which explains the strange puddles found around in the fields. These entities are very friendly and like to play around in the fields. Their movements are slow and graceful and their bodies fall slowly, as if they are a balloon. Gluffs tend to eat wheat in the fields as that they grow. These entities are useful for growing and harvesting crops, base communities, and outposts. Since the discovery of level 10, many groups have been formed in this level. The most prominent of these elements are listed below. The BNTG Level 10 Resource Station. This outpost was formed by the BNTG, to harvest wheat for bakery usage. This outpost holds around 23 people all working together. 
They also gather other useful resources such as the previously mentioned almond water. They transfer the items from level 10 to level 1 via the, uh, an exit to set level. New Salbury. Around 1,000 created ones reside in the large towns set up and run for the last few hundred years. They performed a dom dominant and sodies. Wanderers may make up the rest of their society, numbering around 1,500 in as an infrastructure within the town. Like, plumbing is slowly becoming more reliable. It will only increase. It is by far the most prone community in level 10 to outbreaks of diseases due to, to still poor sanitation. So avoid the town if you're not already immune to the disease and don't want to run the risk. Insertion Station 04. Calculated in population of the station is upwards of 29 members. Serves is one of the intersection's main source of food. But the most resources here dedicated to farming and baking, open to tr trading food for weapons or medicine. Entry is barred at this outpost to many members of the BNTG. Malt Town. This community is made up of several wanderers who seek shelter in level 10. They are they're very friendly and open to trade. They are guarded by the BNTG group nearby. Housekeepers. This group is mysterious and resides within the houses of level 10. They apparently discovered vital information within the houses and are unwilling to share it. The amount of members are unknown. Discovery. During an expedition near the end of 2015, a group in level 5 had discovered a camera next to a puddle of a mysterious dried substance. The camera had many photos of level 10, including the image shown above. Next to the camera was a small collection of notes from a wanderer, presumably the camera's owner. The following is a series of transcripts of those notes. I've been walking for maybe six days, and there's nothing but this dirt road and the fields surrounding it. I tried going off route, and it got put back on the path. There's almond water in the fields. It tastes sweet. I've been hearing trumpets and roaring in the distance and I saw something in the fog. I snapped a photo of it. I can't identify it right now. If you hear someone yell, fire, go back to the path immediately. Someone just shot a fucking arrow at my shoulder and I'm still bleeding. I think I saw a tower in the distance and somebody on top with a bow. Everything is calm now. It is silent. She saved me. An angel appeared in the sky trumpets in hand. If you find yourself on level 10, stay in one spot. She'll find you faster that way. It seems that this wanderer lived and came from the hub and entered level 10 from there. The wanderer experienced many encounters with native entities such as the archers and gluffs. Whether the she mentioned within the nose is the same being as the she mentioned in level 1.5 is unconfirmed. The fate of the Wanderer is unknown. Entrances and Exits Entrances To enter, walking off into the path into the fields from level 9 will lead you to level 10. Climbing a chain-linked fence in level 205 will lead to level 10. Following the procedures in level 12 and entering the door has a chance to lead to level 10. Jumping out the train in level 61 while outside and moving will lead to level 10. This is dangerous and not advised. Entering one of the holes in the maze of level 51 will lead to this level. Eating a food similar to green beans in level 226 will also lead to level 10. That is kind of random, I'm going to be honest. It is possible to enter level 10 by running deep into the forest level 170. As gradually progress, it gradually progresses into level 10. Exits. To exit, bunkers rarely present in wheat fields may lead to level 1, level 2, level 3, or level 14. Reports state some of the houses will lead to level 0, level 5, level 7, or level 9, but it is unknown exactly how this transport is achieved.
toppling a scarecrow within level 10 will lead to level 807. Finding and following a ditch path in level 10 for a few hours will lead to level negative 7. Finding a swamp area in level 10 will lead to level 66. While wandering through the fields aimlessly, it's possible to find a blue patch of wheat with a, with a clown scarecrow directly in the middle of this patch. Plucking one of these strands of wheat will transport you to level 283. Approximately 20, uh, 20 miles from Malt Town is the boundary of the Corpse Lake Exclusion Zone, encompassing and serving as the entrance to level 10.1.